Hello again, my name is Enoch Garcia with Honest Accounting Group. Today we're reviewing the T-Sheets app for team members and team members out in the field. Let's get started. So when we are in the overview section, here at the bottom you can see, uh, it gives us the day totals, the week totals, and the pay period. This is basically let us, letting us know how many hours you work the day of or for the week or for the pay period here under schedule it shows us if we were scheduled on March 8th which would be in this case today there were no shifts today and in the week summary how many hours did we work for specific jobs so in this case for the Johnson job we worked seven hours and 29 minutes so that's your overview if we go to time clock here it shows us how many uh, hours we work today seven hours 29 we're currently, the status is off the clock. And the start time, if we were to clock in right now, it would be the time. So in this case, it's 9.45 p.m. today. And then here, we can select what job we're going to work on if we're clocking in. So I'll hit John Doe again. And then all we have to do is hit clock in. So if we want T-Sheets to allow access to our location for GPS purposes you can hit allow once or allow for this app and it'll generate the the uh, the address or where you're currently located you can also add attachments uh, for example if you were at a job and you want to add some photos you simply hit the plus sign and it will show you uh, the screen uh, for the camera you snap a picture and you're all done now we have an option here to clock out in red and switch in green. If we hit switch, it's going to allow us to switch jobs without clocking out. So I'm going to go ahead and click and say I'm working at Jane Doe now. And I hit save. And we switch jobs. So now the time starts all over again. Then I can clock out. Here under timesheets. It shows us we clocked in from 9.46 to 9.46, just a couple seconds for John Doe, and then we switched it to Jane Doe. Of course, your times will be longer. They won't be seconds, but it will give you a breakdown. For example, Sunday, March 8th, you clocked in in all these three jobs, Saturday, and so on. Here it shows you what hours have been approved by your administrator, and so on. These two, Saturday, March 7th, has not and March 8th has not been approved yet. If you need to make adjustments, for example, Jane Doe, and you need to fix the time or you want to add notes to that, you simply hit the three little dots at the top and hit edit. And then if the time was wrong, the start time, you just click around the time and say, oh, I clocked in at 8.46 or I should have clocked in at 8.46. And all you do is hit save timesheet. Of course, if you're already clocked in from previous time, it's going to tell you there's a conflict. In case, in this case, there is. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. All right. And lastly, schedule. So if you have it under my schedule, it's going to show you what you are scheduled for. Um, in the dashboard overview uh, video that we just created, it um, we scheduled a roofing job for March 9th at 8 to 1:30. So um, so that's what we're showing here. If we want to see the full schedule, it's going to show every employee and where they're going at, uh, for that week. Here we have a couple more options. We can add workers, the crew. You can see who's working at the moment. And manage customers, hours by work, notifications, if there's any and so on so it's very simple typically you will simply hit the clock in and uh, select the job that you're working under you can add a timesheet note I was working and X happened hit save and then when administrator reviews your hours they'll see your notes and know what happened what was going on they'll also see any attachments and if you select it to show the location it'll go ahead and show them the location of where you clocked in and so on so this is a quick video a quick overview it's very simple once you logged in simply go to time clock clock in 
clock out and make sure you select your job that you're working on and you're good to go. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we are creating and uploading new content. Thank you.